What is up, you freaky folks? My name is Nick, and welcome to my channel, where I cover all things horror, whatever you're watching, I'm making videos about. Happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you've all enjoyed your October. I hope you've had a great spooky season. I feel like for once I've actually done it right. Like I feel like I watched all the horror movies I wanted to watch. I did all the activities I wanted to do. I've been posting like crazy. It's been a fun time. And I really appreciate the support you guys have thrown my channel this month. It has just been awesome, means the world to me, and I really appreciate it. But I have to ask that you indulge me once again because I have one last Halloween movie that I want to talk about. Sleepy Hollow is a reimagining of Washington Irving's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Directed by Tim Burton, this supernatural mystery horror is about a small village in New England plagued by a series of beheadings. Johnny Depp plays Ichabod Crane, a New York City detective sent to Sleepy Hollow to uncover the murderer. Once there, he learns there is something very sinister going on that can't be explained away with logical explanations. I hope you're all very familiar with this one because like the rest of the 13 Nights of Halloween videos, this one will contain spoilers. It is on Netflix right now, but leaving tomorrow, so if you can, I think this is the perfect movie to watch for Halloween night. The first time I saw Sleepy Hollow, I had to be around 10. I remember my brother would often convince my mom to let him rent some R-rated stuff that he would watch totally on his own, but when she would go to work, my sister and I would like run right into the room like, we're watching it too. And Sleepy Hollow was one of the early horror films that I caught. I often saw him watching a lot of horror films, but I would just kind of like run away. When Sleepy Hollow came on, I stayed and watched it. I found it very entertaining, very engaging, and very thrilling. At that age, I was into some horror, like light horror. I liked creature features like Jaws and Deep Blue Sea and stuff like that, and I Know What You Did Last Summer. Like, I liked some stuff and I was kind of getting into it, but Sleepy Hollow was probably the movie that just threw open the doors of horror and was like, yes, this is for you, come on inside. As adults and especially as hardcore horror fans, Sleepy Hollow doesn't feel like a very intense or super violent or gory movie, but as a kid, it did. It's the first movie I saw that had really any kind of gore in it, and I was surprised that I was able to stomach this one, because again, that just, it really wasn't my thing, but as I was watching Sleepy Hollow, I was like, yeah, I think I kind of like this. I have to admit one thing I just love about Sleepy Hollow is that it's one of the rare big budget horror films that have come out within my lifetime. We're used to seeing plenty of independent filmmakers work their magic with less than five million dollars and that's great I love that but sometimes it's just plain nice to see expensive production design beautiful costumes and a-list stars in a horror film. Tim Burton's aesthetic just screams Halloween and it's put to great use here. It's always dark and gray and there's fog drifting over creepy imagery like the dead tree in the woods or the witch's cave even though they just recreated a village from the late 1700s with the scarecrows and the jack-o-lanterns everywhere this feels like the closest we've gotten to a live action version of Halloween Town from the Nightmare Before Christmas the headless horseman is such a classic iconic horror character and I don't think he's been done right since this although I can understand plenty of people complaining that Christopher Walken's grunting doesn't exactly do the character justice. But I really like the use of violence and gore in this movie. I like practical effects just as much as anyone, but when the gore is overused for the sake of it, it doesn't really feel as effective. The violence in this movie is beautiful at times, showing us what happens, but in a stylish manner. Sleepy Hollow is one of my favorite kills in films, and that's during the church sequence. The Headless Horseman can't enter the church, so he does what any good villain would do and gets creative.
Again, it's beautiful and bloody, but it's the natural next step for the script. And that's what I like about this movie, is I think everything really comes together in a way that is just incredibly aesthetically pleasing to me as a viewer. After this part, the movie does really slow down for a bit as it runs out of people to kill, then picks all the way up towards the end as windmills blow up and the Headless Horseman is chasing down our characters in a carriage. There are some fight scenes that feel a little out of place, but I kinda like it because you'll regularly hear me clamoring for more action horror. Sleepy Hollow is really the full package for me. It has rich visuals, creepy atmosphere, and enjoyable characters working their way through a horror movie plot. We've got witches and demonic entities playing around within gorgeous cinematography. It all comes together to make the perfect Halloween movie. I'm gonna give Sleepy Hollow a 4 out of 5. It does have some flaws with its slower parts and character work, but overall it's an incredibly entertaining horror film. What did you guys think of Sleepy Hollow? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Thank you so much if you've watched any of the 13 Nights of Halloween videos, and if you made it all the way to the last one, I truly, really, from the bottom of my heart, just can't thank you enough for the support that you guys have been showing my channel this month. I really kind of thought with it being October, I was going to get buried with all of the other content creators putting out so many good videos, but you guys have really chosen to spend some time here and subscribe and watch and like and comment, and I honestly just could not thank you enough. I just couldn't. And I really have to sincerely apologize. I'm so sorry that I didn't get out the what to watch videos for Tubi and Hulu this month. I had them written up. I even filmed the Hulu one. I will tell you right now, I was editing it this morning when my software crashed and I just don't have the time to do both videos today now. So I really truly am sorry. I should have gotten them done earlier and I just plain screwed up. I failed. That's just the long and the short of it. I fucked up. But thank you guys so much for your continued support anyway. I really truly appreciate it. I'm gonna tell you now, I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm gonna take a week off, but then I will be back with the regularly scheduled programming. November is gonna be pretty light because it's, I think, pretty light in the horror world no matter what, but I will have the What to Watch videos out and Shutter reviews on Saturdays, of course, as always. Let me know if there's anything that you guys wanna see here on the channel. I've been loving your recommendations and suggestions. I've been making a list of lists that I should should do. I want to do some more personal videos, some more broad videos. I want to talk about the major horror franchises, favorite kills, rankings, things like that. I want to really get into it. Now that we've kind of started to build a little bit of a community, I want to let you guys know a little bit more about how I feel about all of our favorite things in horror, that way we can talk about those things, and not just the things that are currently streaming. Although I'm gonna keep doing that, because that's kind of the point of my channel. I wanna make sure you guys have the best recommendations at all times. I'm sorry, I'm trying to bring this in for a landing. I feel like I have so much to say, but really, all it comes down to is just thank you. Again, just thank you, thank you, thank you. I really can't say it enough, and I feel like I'm missing something else that I was supposed to say. Oh, let me know if you want a review for The Craft Legacy, because I watched it last night, and I have thoughts, and... So yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Thank you again. That's it. Last one. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any creepy content. I'll be back in a week. Until then, that's it for this video, but I won't stop you from watching another.